In our first demonstration, we're going to demonstrate the first class of chemical reaction, which is known as a synthesis reaction. The two reactants in this case are elemental iodine and elemental aluminum. When they combine, they form a more complex substance, a compound, known as aluminum iodide. When we mix the two substances, we must make sure that they are thoroughly mixed together so that they completely react. Synthesis reactions are characterized by combining two more simple substances to form a more complex single substance, as is the case in this reaction. In many cases, reactions won't start spontaneously on their own. We sometimes must apply heat or other things to get them started. Once heat is applied, the reaction slowly starts to build up until it rapidly increases in reaction rate and finally goes to completion. The gas that you see coming off is actually elemental iodine being turned into a vapor because of the heat that's being released by the reaction. This is not technically a product of the reaction. The solid that is left behind is the product, aluminum iodide. Let's break down the basics of a synthesis reaction. In a synthesis reaction, we always have at least two reactants. We'll call them reactant A and reactant B. These can be elements or they can be compounds. When reactant A and reactant B react, they always merge together to make one single more complex substance, which is a compound. This new compound is the combination of the reactants, in this case called AB. Many times this can be a metal combining with a nonmetal, but it can also be nonmetals combining together as well. We can illustrate what's happening in a synthesis reaction by watching the particle diagram below. Once the molecules or substances are given kinetic energy, they move towards each other until they collide, forming the new compound, AB. Let's take a look at the overall process of the synthesis reaction. While looking at it in this way, it may seem very simple. Sometimes it can get a little more confusing with real reactions. So let's go ahead and look at the reaction that we witnessed in the demonstration, characterized as a reaction and as a particle diagram. Our two substances here are elemental aluminum and diatomic elemental iodine. In our balanced reaction, we have more than one of each substance, however. So it can seem a little more confusing when looking at the particle diagram. However, as we watch the particle diagram unfold, we will see the same process as depicted in the more simple model. The aluminum atoms will combine stoichiometrically with the iodine particles in the same fashion as in this simple diagram. The iodine molecules break apart. In order to combine in the proper proportions, this must happen. For every one aluminum atom, we must have three iodide atoms to combine. The result is just as the synthesis reaction depicts. One aluminum atom combines with three iodide particles to give a more complex substance. We simply result with two of them. Let's go ahead and look at the overall process for this synthesis reaction together. 